Oh, hello. I just want to do a, a quick, not even a review, because I haven't been using it for very long. I've only had it for a day or two, and um, of my new Logitech G600 um, MMO mouse. Um, it's basically a new toy for me, and uh, just wanted to do a quick video, just talking about how much I like it. I'll show you what it looks like. There, that's the mouse. So it has all these buttons on the side. The mouse, well, the mouse wheel, which can click left and right as well, and then these two two buttons, and there's a left, right, and also an extra button here on the side. It's cool. I love it. See the lights here. Um, with the software, you can make it change color. It's so cool. It's awesome. I really like the feel of it. So, um, it's basically only if you play MMOs because MMOs have your characters have a lot of skills, like different type of um, moves that they can do, and um, like I, it's fine if you can play without one. You don't. I don't think you need one, but it just makes life easier. I think because um, in the past I played with another Logitech mouse. It was this one. That one. I really liked it too. Um, but I think what was this one was the MX one thousand. The only thing that I kind of put me off a little bit was um, it's cordless, so I'd have to recharge it, and also it requires me to have take up one um, PowerPoint thing. So that kind of put me off a little bit. Like I mean, I've been using that for a few for years now, playing playing WoW well with it, and it was cool because um. Yeah, it could bind a lot of moves to the um, the mouse. Like, I don't know how many extra buttons it's got. It's only got like four or five extra buttons, or I don't know how many extra buttons it has, but... And then I could use Shift and Control and Alt as well to do some things. Um, so, with a little bit of, um, you know, work with the um, Shift and all that stuff, you could bind most of your abilities to it. So, it was good. It works. Like, it was it was fine. Like, um, But it just... This is so much easier than new one. Because there's so many buttons, so many options. I feel almost spoiled because having um, used a mouse with less buttons, like um, you have to be really like, you know, you have to think a lot about which button you want for what move and stuff. Whereas this is like, there's so many options. It's sport for choice, but I like it. And oh yeah, Logitech um, was the packaging was perfect. The it was plug and play basically. Um, but also to set it up to customize it, like you had to. Just, it was very easy with the software, really, really easy. Oh, and another thing, um, just what, a quick word on, on using it with Macs. Um, it, you can use definitely use it with a Mac. Um, but you just need, like, um, if you want to do any of the setting up for it, like customizing it, um, you just need to have access to a PC um, with the software, and you can just customize it. Like, um, basically, I've got my PC um, and had the software for the mouse installed, did all the customizing of the buttons and you know all that kind of all this stuff that it doesn't take long and then just unplug it because then it goes into the memory of the mouse and then um, my MacBook Air can run WoW and I just plug it into that and it's fine after that the mouse runs fine because I was actually thinking about not getting this one and getting the um, Razer Naga instead because Razer Naga is like compatible with Mac and PC but this one is only compatible with the software is only compatible with the PC but I was reading somewhere that it was that people said, yeah, like you can just once you set it up, you can use it on a Mac, so it's fine. I can use it on my Mac and it works really well. Like I love it. Um, yeah, the reason I went over this instead of the Naga, the Razer Naga, is because um, my old mouse was a Logitech and it, it was served me fine. Like it was really no had never had any problems with it at all, and it's very really really good mouse. And this feels like really good mouse as well. It was love at first sight, really. Um, I like how you can change the colors of the numbers like you know you can change it to make it change colors to, all the time but I just kept it like so less distracting just to have it the same color um, yeah it's just awesome like yeah before when I played MMO I was like oh, no now I'm getting more skills my action bar is full uh, you know now it's like yeah just if I want a skill on the mouse easy to access bam just, just put it there it's um it's nothing new. A lot of people who play WoW and stuff like that know about these um, multi-button mouses, mice. But um, and that's how I found out about it. Really, like from reading stuff, like people saying, "Yeah, they love playing with their Naga, Razer Naga." So really, I think in the reviews, um, people saying it's um, 
very similar, and I'd probably agree, they're probably really similar, but I just went with this one. Um, yeah, like, I think one of the selling points of this Logitech one was, um, whoa, okay, see here, the buttons, um, they're, like, slightly grooved, so there's these two here, these two rows here, and these two rows, they're kind of grooved, like, inwards towards each other, so you can kind of feel the difference between them. Whereas um, with the Naga, I think they're all flat and kind of the same. So, yeah, basically you'll be able to feel easier. The difference. But, yeah, so I'm really, really happy with it. And it's like my new toy at the moment. Even though I'm trying hard not to play, like, um, put a lot of hours into any MMOs anymore. But I just, it just makes my enjoyment so much more now with this. Um, so, yeah. So when I get new skills, it's like, oh, whatever, give me more skills. It doesn't matter. I almost, you know, it's great. So, um, yeah, that's my new toy for at the moment. So that's all.